Hello everybody and welcome once again to All of Fabric 3. Today we are going to carry on with modern industrialization. If I can spell that properly. Um, last time we did um, getting started with some machines. We made a few bits. Now today we're going to go and do the bronze steam age. So let's get started. Well I have some bits prepared. Let's have a look at the quest book for that. So, uh, I need to get to modern industrialization. There we go. So what we're going to do today is bronze boilers, bronze furnaces, bronze macerators, bronze compressors, bronze mixers, and we're also going to make the cutting machine. I think we might try doing the cutting machine early on in this, because that saves a lot of resources. So let's get along here and have a look at what we need to do for the bronze machines. So we want a bronze boiler. So a bronze boiler is these fire clay bricks we made last time, some large bronze plates, which are <laughs> early game are very expensive as it happens. We get this uh, bronze tank uh, and we get an empty furnace. The recipe for bronze tank is more of these bronze plates around a glass. So I've got that bit prepared already. Oh, turn on me. Turn on me stuff. Let's have a look at this. So we can do the that. We've got the bronze tank. Oops, missed, missed. Try again. So we put this into here and we should be able to get the bronze boiler. So we'll put the bronze boiler down somewhere near here. Actually, it needs to be near a water source. So for the time being, I'm going to put it down here. You see, I'm getting lots of rewards done and I've made an achievement called hot water. So now let's have a look at them um, doing something with this. I need some buckets. I've got some buckets in my backpack. So I want a bucket of water in here like this. So if you right click this, you'll see it's got these two here. So it's got some steam which is empty and it's got some water which is empty. So we can simply come along here and it says left click to insert or extract. So an empty bucket with an extract that as you can see and a full bucket puts it in. So now we've got one bucket's worth. It now needs some fuel. So let's go and get some fuel. I am going to be using um, charcoal because I've got stacks of wood as you probably already noticed the tree farm is doing extremely well so we put that into here like this and that's going to heat up and it'll heat up fairly quickly uh, here we go temperatures down here so as soon as it's got over 100 it should start to produce steam <laughs> funny numbers they're doing it in 181st <laughs> so we should get a one bucket's worth of steam out of here and then we can take that steam. In fact, we can actually do steam in a normal boiler as well. So let's just take that out of here uh, and put it into a normal furnace. I think we can just do it in a furnace. I haven't tried this. Let's just put it in here. Sure enough, it does. We get out a bucket of steam. So that's how we get buckets of steam. <laughs> and this one is more efficient at using the, using the fuel. So we've now got... Actually, we've got more buckets of steam than we've actually got buckets of water. So one bucket produces two buckets of steam by the looks of it. Makes sense. So the next thing, let's have a look at the next machine and claim our rewards. So we've completed the bronze boiler and we get a block of bronze for that, which is actually very good because bronze in early game, if you weren't doing, if we hadn't already gone so far, would be really expensive. So we then get the bronze furnace. So the bronze furnace gives us another block of bronze and some supreme pizza, which actually says it's only got one saturation. It's not true. It's got 26. You just can't see the number. So let's make the bronze furnace. And the rest for that is this one. So a furnace, five more large plates, uh, one large plate is four ingots of bronze, by the way, so it's quite a lot. And then these fire clay bricks again, so we can make that. And this thing is basically a smelting, 20 times more efficient, it says. And what you can do with this, let's put that, let's put that out of the way here, is you can put it down anywhere you like to, anywhere you like, but if you put it on beside this boiler, it will automatically get fed with steam. So let's put a bucket of, no, I have to take the steam and left click it on here. And that will produce one bucket's worth of steam like that and then we can put something in here so let's go and get something like um, the standard or doubling for this would be to use let's have a look what have i got here something useful copper ore. let's take some copper ore because you're going to use quite lots of copper ore in this one you can then take one of these hammer it would give you two of these copper crushed copper ores here like this and then you can then put those into this furnace i hope this works and sure enough it's working just fine so what we can then as soon as this is finished you'll see it's using up the steam 
and I guess that one one bucket's worth of steam is going to do two ingots of copper, which it looks like it's going to. Any second now, we should also get our two ingots out. Slightly unusual interface. Actually, it's 1800, so it's less. But let's just break this now and put it beside the boiler. And then I don't have to keep going along feeding it with buckets of steam. So now it should have two buckets of steam in here, so we can then use that. Uh, this has also got temperatures very hot now, as you can see, 1500 degrees centigrade. Uh, and then it's got, well, it's actually got 289 millibuckets of steam in it. So we can actually put some more water in this. And uh, later on, we'll show pump it. We can either pump it in like this. Or we can do it like this to start with. So we could put a tank and we can pump fluid in with some pipes. We made some pipes last time and we could actually make another uh, another tank. Let's just do that. I would like to get some glass, wouldn't I? Another, another piece of glass will make a tank. But I think I need more than one. Oh, whoops, happening here. I, want, I think I need more than one tank. But I did prepare some bronze plates uh, here to produce these bronze machine casings. So we're going to need a lot of those. Let's just take one of these out and make a tank. And then go to our chest where I've got the stuff in here and I've got some iron fluid pipes. So we can then put those down beside here. Uh, I think that's the way to do it because on this you can put four different machines. So maybe it's a good idea to, for example, put one in front tank in front of it like this and then some pipes uh, like this, just one iron fluid pipe down here like this and it doesn't connect as you may notice so what you have to then do is use the wrench and you have to basically see each face you want to connect to with the wrench so that's the wrenches here and that connects in and that's actually got an arrow and that arrow is going into this tank let's do the other face as well here so that's connecting into here so we can now take a bucket of water let's do that Put that into there you can go quite quickly of course like this this takes four oh, it takes four buckets it's not that much and then you can right click this end here and then it goes down and all of that water then goes into here so have a look at it so now we've got f five buckets of what we had in before so that's got plenty of steam for the next machine so let's get on with that one so we've completed this one let's have a look at the quests now Let's see what we've done. So we can claim another block of uh, bronze and another supreme pizza. As you can see, we now actually have a look at the supreme pizza. Here you'll see I've got four of them, and it's got 26 saturation. So good, a good one. Oh, that's where that went to. <laughs> uh, I was looking for those, the hydraulics uh, things before. Right, next thing. Let's go back to the quest book, because the quests are not bad. They're pretty good. They're giving in a reasonable order. And then the next one is a mace rate. And this is actually quite an important machine. And we get another block of bronze and a lift, little tater, which is a, a hat with no particular use at all. So let's have a look at this one. So we now need the bronze mace rate. And I think this is this particular machine. Okay, yes. So we need three copper fluid pipes for this one. We need three copper gears. Uh, and we need three diamonds. If we actually go and have a look at the cutting machine, I don't think the cutting machine is actually very difficult to do. I have to find it. Cause... As you can see, I'm just scrolling through these ones, so I'm not sure what order they're in. It looks ah, I mean, it's alphabetical, but it looks like. it's actually similar. So it's a, bro a bronze casing. So we'll make this one first. And the reason we'll do that, if we have a look at the usage of this, you can uh, cutting machine use it. You can cut things up fairly easily with a little bit of water. One little bit bucket of water. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you the ones we really want until much somewhere in the 349 pages of whatever. <laughs> so what we can actually do is we'll make the cutting machine. So for that, we needed a bronze machine casing. We need two: one for the macerator and one for that. This was the recipe for the macerator. Ah, and copper fluid pipes. I haven't done that, shown you that yet. Let's put that into there. And then we need three copper gears. Okay, so let's get the other recipe ready for the other one. It's night time. I'll just prepare it and I'll come back in a second. 
Right, so I've got some copper plates with me. And what we can do with these copper plates, if you have a look at the uses of these, if you put them through the cutting machine, you will get two copper gears. If you take the saw and you saw them, and you'll get one copper gear. So let's have a look at doing that. We need, for this particular machine, the cutting machine, we need uh, this one. We need two gears. Let's make up two gears. Let's put, come over here and put in two plates. Like that. And then we can change that from hammering to cutting, which is like this. So we can get our two copper gears. Okay, and then we should be able to make this up. I'm going to actually, I do need to make something else. I need to make the the, the tubes or the copper pipes. I've got some here, but they, well, let's just do that because they're very straightforward and easy to do. All I'm going to do is use the compressor here and put some copper ingots in there, which I thought I had with me. Uh, I haven't got them with me. Let's just make some copper ingots. I need about six. like that and then we can put those into the compressor twice and that'll give us some plates first time round and you put them through again of course you can hammer these but this is fast this is not faster as it happens but it it's easier to do so we can just put these down here and make some and uh, make some tubes this if i do like this it'll make some item ducts copper item pipes and if i then get some planes of panes of glass we want three of those it's exactly the same recipe as we did for, by the way for the iron pipes we had to make last time and with that we get six copper fluid pipes that's actually enough for two machines so the first machine we can make is this one and then we get our cutting machine here like that which is actually a good one, but actually it's not part of the quest, but I think it's probably a very good saver. And this will power four machines, this one particular boiler. So let's press, put that on top of that, like that. And then we want some more of these. So it needs some steam, which it's got already. So we put in two of these. I hope this works. Um, got a large plate. I probably need some water as well, didn't it? Let's get the bucket of water out of here. Put a bucket of water in here and you see it's going to make some of these and as you can see it's now starting to work and these bits here by the way will prevent you changing the sides so you can configure this with the wrench so at the moment the side will probably be on the right hand side have a look oh no it's at the back so you can see the output side here or the input side is at the back so what you can then do Let's put something on that. I haven't decided whether a chest will work or not. We'll, we'll get these out of here first of all, because we want to make the macerator. So you can see how useful that machine is to start with. And then this particular machine needs three copper gears. Like that. And then we have our bronze macerator. And the bronze macerator will actually give us an achievement, or tripling. But let's go and put this down as well like that so we've got three of our four machines for one boiler uh and so it needs got it's got steam in here and we can put something in so for example what we can now do this is probably the easiest way to do it we've got two choices let's just put in one piece of copper in here and take out two dust let's go along to the macerator and put it in one copper uh, ore and you'll see that's making some crushed copper dust it'll make two when it's made those two like that we can then put those feed those back in and this time it's going to make dust so we can put those through like that we will get from these from these four copper that i put in we'll get six dust out so that's where the ore tripling is coming in as you can see this is actually working very nicely it's got plenty of it's got steam in here enough steam to go and it's producing steam as it or using water as it's required so now we've got six copper dust which should then put into the furnace to actually smelt so let's put those to the furnace to get to ingots or you could use something else to do that so the next machine along let's have a look we've just got another request done so let's claim this one we get another block block of bronze and we get this little tater 
it will take us a bit daft to be done so let's just get rid of these items out of here if you can't see it until you put it on like this and you press f5 and you can then see what it looks like oops on, on. <laughs> it's a little face smiley face on top of your head oh, isn't that good <laughs> as i said a bit daft so let's put that i don't really the crown doesn't do anything either so that's also not particularly useful but let's put another right time which is most of the work and the lucky charm from uh here suspicious hat gives you this um extra loop when killing entities so that's the one for that's your fortune item so right where, where are we next machine okay let's have a look at what we got to do next we need to do the bronze compressor let's have a look at the recipe for the bronze compressor since i now know that these are alphabetical i can look quicker so now we need two more gears we need a forge hammer and we need these copper rods the recipe for copper rods is again we can use a well actually one ingot of copper will make two copper rods so that's pretty good so let's do that we'll make those and they go into the cutting machine you can do it another way uh, and it's um, it's double it's twice as expensive so we've got some copper no not in there i think it's in the furnace isn't it we've got our six ingots of copper in there you can do it you can put it in here so if, for example you could put one and then get in here and then change that to saw mode and you get a copper rod okay since we've already built sawmill we might as well use the sawmill so here's the cutting machine i mean so let's just put in a copper rod in here so this uses one millibucket per item which is almost nothing and you can see one of those is now going to get make two copper rods which is what we need for the next machine so we need two copper rods like that so you're already getting double the uses so i think that's a fairly good machine to make early game well as soon as you can so the bronze cutting machine bronze compressor uh, and then we need a forge hammer we made one of those already and two more copper gears and a bronze machine casing and three copper fluid pipes okay so the copper gears we can do again that's uh, just one plate into the into the cutting machine that'll make two more gears for us i think there are ways to speed this machine up as well we'll come to that later on there we go so we've got three of those so now we should be able to come along here and craft those into position so we need the bronze machine casing which i haven't got yet let's take one of these out of here and then we need two cover gears around it like that and that'll make the bronze compressor no it won't what have i got wrong Copper fluid pipes, bronze compressor. Oh yes, <laughs> I put the copper ingots in here, so they're making them. I'd already prepared it to tell me what to do. So now we've got the bronze compressor, which we can then go and put down at the back of this machine. So maybe you want to put the water at the back. I'm not then sure. We can put it up like this, and those are the four machines that you can actually power. This will produce enough power for these four machines so obviously the compressor acts just like a normal compressor we can put some a copper ingot in there and we will get a copper plate out of it a bit slower than the other machines but compared to the other way of doing this let's have a look at that when we have a look in a second the recipe for this if we were using the hammer would be a double ingot and double ingot is two ingots of copper hammered so again you're getting double double output so this is where it starts to get interesting in terms of this mod pack now the next thing we would like to do I th there's one more machine we'd like to make for this particular thing and that was the mixer let's just go and claim the reward for that one as well so we get a bucket of, and another supreme pizza two of them actually so it happens which is great and then we can have a look along. Oh, i didn't do that did i let's just close this up and have a look at the next one it's the mixer now the mixer is to make bronze we get two tougher burgers from that well we know how good tougher burgers are so anyway so that's a handy thing to do so let's have a look at the mixer recipe i think yes that's the mixer recipe so it's a slightly more complicated a little few more of these copper pipes two pieces of glass another bronze machine casing and uh, another copper gear well we've got those bits mostly made but we need to make the fans 
<laughs> now this is where it gets a little bit more interesting. So the fans are copper bolts. Copper bolts are again through the cutting machine. We'll get two for that. So we need to use two copper ingots to make these. These copper blades, must be for that. It's just a crafting recipe. And the assembler is actually no benefit. I don't think you get a four from one. And this one you get four as well. So the difference is zero. But we need some rods. So we need four rods. Let's go back to the recipe for the mixer again. We'll do, actually, let's have a look at the recipe for that one. Oh, actually, that, the assembler is slightly better for this one. In fact, the assembler is a lot better for this. As you can see, it's got just four and one of these rings. One of the rings is made by a copper item pipe, which will make two of those rings. So that's got a copper item pipe. I need to make one of those. So it's night time. I shall be back in a second. When I've made, I'll prepare that stuff anyway. So let's just double check that recipe again because I need to make sure that we've got all the bits that we need for it. So we need these three copper fluid pipes. Oh, the fluid pipes. I thought they were item pipes. Oh no, the item pipes are for this. So item pipes will make up. We've got three copper fluid pipes here. So let's prepare that. I've also got the other bits prepared. We've made that the stuff behind before. So we just need the two fans. So I haven't produced the machine yet to make those quickly. So let's have a look. What did I want to do? I want to produce fans, don't I? Um, I need some more copper ingots as it happens. Let's just go and get some more out of here. Bronze made, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong one. I need just the fan, so I need the mixer. Okay, so these, co these rings are made from copper item pipes. That's right. In the cutting machine, we'll produce two. Okay, we can do that. So copper item pipes are here. We can just pre prepare those like that. We get six of those, so we can put one of those in the cutting machine. And that will produce two of those. While that's doing that, I've been making some more. I put half a stack of um, copper into there, so we can then put this into, through into the furnace and let this cook up as well. So while it's all going on, we should now have two of these rings. Okay, good. So that, let's get this bit prepared for the, we need the fan. It's going to be the same recipe as this. So we need one ring in the middle. Okay, so one ring in the middle. We need two, so that's great. And then we need these bolts. Now the bolts, if I remember rightly, are cut down versions of, uh, what I've got here. Copper item pipe, oh, copper item pipes twice, yes, okay. So we need cut down versions of, we need the bolts, which is cut up in the process, so we need some rods so we need two rods i th think we just we need two rods stone don't we we need two copper ingots into here from ingots probably in the furnace now aren't they? yes and that'll make two rods for us and then we can put those back through again and we shall get four of those see that we're using it water fairly quickly whilst doing this i just put some more water into this tank here and that'll keep it running. Uh, the boy, by the way, with those with that very little charcoal, will run for quite a long time, as you can see. So now we've got these, so we should be able to put. Oh, no, I only want two. Okay, the so two will produce uh, these copper bolts. And then we needed what did we need for the last bit? We needed these blades, didn't we? Okay, so we need copper plates and a bronze rod so I do, I do do need this bronze rod and I do need another couple of plates let's go and put one of these in the compressor at the back and that'll make four I hope you're keeping it with me <laughs> I hope I'm keeping it with myself to be dead on this with you there we go so we've got uh, six bolts I must have put some more in than I thought okay so now we should be able to make this up we need to make up the the blades that was two of those plus one rod produce four blades that's right though I think we've got everything we need now let's put those I'm not sure which position they are in let's just double check I think those are on so yes that's right the bolts go on the outside so we can just do it like this oh we need twice as many as this don't I and cup bolts like that and that produces one fan so I'm going to come back in a second when I've got the materials for the second fan. I'll see you in a second. 
Okay, didn't take very long to prepare, so we can now should be able to finish off the last of these machines on here, which is the bronze mix, bronze mixer, uh, and then unfortunately i have to make another boiler because we've got, we've got four machines attached to here the one that's extra of course was a cutting machine which happens to be very handy to have a cutting machine like this um, it might be possible to split this up as well so we could try doing that let's just see if this works what we can do we can put on here the, the, diff the two machines that we've got so we can put one down mix it down this side here and we can put the um compress it down here depending on how much we need to do we can only run four of these machines at any one time so now we need is just a piece of pipe i'm not sure if we've got any of those left but we do have some iron pipe in here let's just take another one of those out of here actually i'm surprised i think they should possibly have made copper pipes for that one in that quest so let's put that down here like that and then we should be able to act access each face of this let's just start with this space over here which is obviously hardest to reach like that and then like that so we only have to change this direction here and then these two machines are getting steam as you can see and they should be powered up so next i think the mixer is let's have a look do we have some recipes for this one Yes, few recipes for the mixer. So we can make from this tin and copper will make four bronze. That's actually the same as normal, but for um, normal, I mean for the other machines. You can also use tiny tin and tiny copper to make these tiny bronze. And, and the uses of the tiny bronze is nine of those will make eight bronze dust. So it's all about bronze in that particular case. Uh, in fact, it's all about alloys. So these are all alloys battery tiny alloys so what have we got here lead and antimony dust well we've got quite a few of that we're not ready to do that yet but as you can see this is just a an alloy mechanism mechanism let's get some tin dust out of here and just try it let's go for dust what have we got here tin dust we've got plenty of tin dust one of those plus three copper dusts should be able to make some bronze dust in here and sure enough it doesn't need any water, any extra fluid in here it will just simply make those bronze dusts and that becomes quite easy the original way of making bronze is quite hard um, you have to do it we look for the recipe of that you'd have to use these tiny bronze dust to start with and the tiny bronze dust are from tiny copper dust and one tin dust because obviously you can't do that until you've got this one and that, that makes three bronze dust so you're losing quite a lot the recipe for tiny copper dust is hammering a nugget so basically you hammer nuggets and you get these copper dusts that doesn't seem too bad so that's how that works so in this case we've got i think we've actually completed that quest line we didn't take the next item let's have a look at that so we claim our toffee burgers so we've actually completed oops don't mess that up a bit and completed that that whole train next time we're going to have a look at this one the steam blast furnace one thing we didn't do is the coke oven we made the coke oven in the previous episode but i didn't actually know how to set it up so for the next episode, I'm going to prepare this. What you do is you take this co coke oven here like this, and then you put it down somewhere. Okay, maybe here's a good place, I don't know. And then you take the wrench, and you'll see it's got red blocks down here, which isn't good. So what we have to do is put it up a block. So let's just break this. I should have some building materials with me. I've got, yes, I've got my slime blocks. All right, so put it down like this. And then we can put the the coke oven on top of this like that break the slime block away and then we can right click this and you can see what it wants does it keep the stuff yes it does it's perfect okay so you use the wrench in order to do this so let's have a look so we need these blocks in here in fact as it happens if we use the manual it will help us a lot i'm not sure if i've looked at the manual recently just have a look at this so here's the modern 
the modern industrialization guidebook so you right you shift right click on this one here like that do you like coke and it tells you what you need okay so we've seen the pattern so it needs 21 bricks and three hatches one hatch to in for item input one hatch for item output and fluid input so we need the three hatches so the hatches oops let's have a look at that one Now, what type of hatches do we need? And advanced fluid hatches, bronze fluid hatches. I think the lowest level of these will probably be, yes, be bronze hatches we need to make. So we need a, a bronze fluid hat. So that's a bronze machine casing. And then we can use that as either uh, an input or an output, I think would be a way to do this. Okay, yeah, that's right. And the rest, next recipe would be to do this one bronze tank and one bronze will make that. I think that's the same basic recipe it is, isn't it? That's a fluid hatch. And then the item hatch is a hopper. And again, if you look at the use of the input hatch here, that's the output hatch. We'll go to an input hatch. I'm sure you can just do it like itself, sort of craft it on itself and it'll make an output hatch for you. Okay. Well, that's it for this episode. I do hope you've enjoyed it and learned something new. Uh, I did have a problem with these machines, as it happens with Steam. It wasn't working as it should have done in the previous... And I'm not sure. It might have been that the game start didn't work, but I have upgraded the mod. I have not upgraded the mod pack because my world won't load in the 285 version. Anyway, until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.